This is the 1974 MC-8 that we call Jupiter. The coach was uh, never a scheduled bus. It was originally built as a conversion, this conversion that's in it. There's really no way of knowing exactly how many miles are on it. We do know it's got a uh, rebuilt or replacement engine. Uh, but looking at the frame and underneath the carriage and whatnot, we can tell it's been a very low mileage coach for its age. Everything is original on the coach, the interior, the paint. So when I say it's in good condition, that's a relative to its age. It does have a bulkhead wall separating the driver from the coach. It has a big double jump seat here in the front. Obviously coaches of this age, they didn't have raised roofs. These are 96 inches wide, not 102. Therefore, the, uh, it's a little bit tighter on the inside. A uh, feature that you don't see often. It's got a handrail, so when you're going down the road, you've got something to grip in between seating locations. It has a very uh, good layout couch, dinette, dinette couch. So that allows for uh, folks to have good traffic flow. The electronics have been updated to probably the early 80s. So it's not exactly state of the art, but it's uh, kind of cool if you're into old buses. A couple of barrel chairs here in the back with a drop down table, which is directly across from the head. I really like the bathroom. It's got a stainless steel floor. How low maintenance can you get? Nice little galley area in the back of the coach. It's going to need a little, uh, a little attention. The refrigerator has power, but it doesn't seem to be cooling. Uh, I don't believe the trash compactor is working, but you got a lot of good space and you got something that'll never break and that's a stainless steel ice box there. Has a coffee warmer and again a lot of cabinet and counter space. Don't know if this is showing up, it's a big closet here in the galley area coat rack and a first generation microwave which evidently was designed to sit there on that stoop and don't know if it works. It has three cruise air units one of which is working the other two are going to need some work but the coach is priced accurately to reflect its mechanical and cosmetic condition. So if you want a good old bus and you can put a little TLC into it and bring it up to whatever electronic uh, grade that you want, then this would be a great bus. It'll need a set of tires as the ones that are on it have a lot of tread, but they're dry rotted. Uh, so you can expect to put a little money into it to get it going. If you have any questions, give us a call. It's really a cool old bus in my opinion. And just like anything old, it's going to need a little... TLC and a little uh, hands-on tweaking.
tweaking throughout its ownership. 